Hello, hello, hello. How's it going, everybody? James here with the Comic Book Boys and super thrilled to sit here and talk to you a little bit about where I see the comic book market in 2022, where I'm going to be making my decisions and how I'm going to be making my decisions. So first of all, this is a really popular book that we're looking at right here. You can see Incredible Hulk number 181. This is a tool called GPA analysis. Basically, the 90 day average is basically the, the most recent average of sales. So we can track prices in the last sale. You can see uh, the most recent sales. So obviously 32,800 is the average of the last three sales in the last 90 days for Hulk 181. 31,200 is the last sale. The grade is a 9.6. Uh, 9.4, 21,000 is the last sale. Uh, seven sales right here in the uh, 90 day average is 19,997. So this is a very, very, very powerful tool. I've used it before in the past. If you go back and look at this video here, uh, top 10 comics to invest in in 2019, you could see that I was talking about the very same book, Hulk 181. Now there's a very, very big difference. Now you can see that the 9.8 uh, was a $29,000 book. In 2019, uh, in 2021, it sold for 87,330. If we look at the 9.6, it was a $14,000 book, basically, you know, between the 90 day and last sale. And in 2022, it's a $31,000 book, 9.6. So we went from a 14 to a $30,000 book and the 9.4 is a $20,000 book in 2022 and in um, the good old days it was uh, it looks like the 9.4 was uh, 9,457 or 10,500 so double ups here and triple ups if you uh, swung for the fences and grabbed the 9.8 so am I all excited do I think we're going to the moon for comic books or is, is the sky the limit um for the first time in the entire um, duration that I've been in the comic book industry, I'm a little nervous about prices. I'm a little hesitant to say that I'm buying Silver Age and Bronze Age keys like Hulk 181 or, or, uh, or you know, ASM1 or AF15, Silver Age keys, Bronze Age keys. I think, you know, I, I showed you how Hulk 181's exploded. Uh, there's, there's, it's no exception with other comic books. The whole industry has been exploding. We're seeing new highs over and over and over again. And in 2019, to, you know, it was pre-COVID, that first video that I recorded, which you can go back and watch on YouTube. And then we had COVID and... Um, I did another video called the coronavirus update where I was talking about don't sell your comics. Um, you know, we're getting a ton of free, mo free money is going to be out there. Quantitative easing Jerome Powell, the chairman of the federal reserve is going to be sitting there printing money, printing money, printing money. And you know, everybody's going to be cashing that money and buying books and, you know, don't sell unless you're getting the value for your books and buy comics. And now I'm like thinking to myself, I'm, uh, you know, I, I see, you know, um, I see greed out there and a ton of prices that are being new and new and new and new highs. And at this point in time, I feel like when a lot of people are buying and everyone's FOMOing into stuff, you know, I'm I'm kind of at the point where I want to do the opposite right now. So I'm I'm I've sold all my personal copies of my Silver Age stuff and, and, you know, my Silver Age keys, with the exception of I actually have Amazing Spider-Man 15 in really high grade because, you know, Russell Crowe is going to be Craven the Hunter that was announced recently. I think that that's kind of cool, but because I think movies still are going to drive the market. I don't, I, I think movies are an exception. So also, um, you know, there, there's, there's definitely um, a, a pullback in, in printing money. Uh, you know, people are, uh, you know, people, people are seeing uh, some, some fear at the gas pump and, and, you know, there's the whole Russia, Ukraine thing. And, 
and people are, you know, it's a time of fear right now. And, 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 you know, I'm not, I, I think this, this, this crazy buying streak's gonna, gonna dwindle. And, and, you know, when there's a lot of supply of silver age and bronze age books, especially bronze age books, there's a ton of them. And, you know, the question, I, I think that demand's going to start, um, start dropping off here a little bit. And, and I hate to say that because I love comics. I love the comic book industry and I, I'm, 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 I'm a, you know, I, I love these things, but, but I'm, I'm not a buyer right now of bronze or silver age stuff. I'm, I've sold most of my stuff. I, I still buy and sell collections, but I'm talking about my personal stuff. So like I, by personal stuff, I mean books that I'm not buying to flip like books that I'm buying to like, you know, like, Hey, I'm going to hold on to this. I'm going to hang on to it and hold it for a long time. So what kind of stuff am I holding right now? I'm not holding silver. I'm not holding bronze. I'm definitely holding golden age keys because the supply isn't there. If you look at the CGC census, there's a lot fewer of golden age keys than there are bronze age and silver age books. And especially golden age books with like key characters or really popular ones or, 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 or there's a much smaller supply. So even if we see demand dwindle and we, if our supply is really, really small, we're not going to see these books hit as much. It's just unfortunate because it really is going to be pricing out a lot of people as far as buying comics goes right now. I was, I'm, I'm going to show you guys a few books here that I'm, that I'm holding, but but I mean, it's unfortunate because they, they, they're really not in the price range of the average investor. So I was debating not even showing these and just literally just telling you guys my thoughts, but I'll show you some cool books right now. Why not? You know, it's the first video we've done in a while, other than just testimonials of customers that I've been buying books from, but I'm definitely going to, um, definitely going to say that it's the, the market's overpriced right now. And a lot of people are just, they FOMO'd in that's, that's the time to leave generally speaking. When there's greed, when people are just FOMOing left and right, and you see up, 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 it's time to cash out. And I hate to say it, but I'm gonna say it. So here's a couple books that I'm holding. Uh, really cool book, I love this book. Uh, Detective Comics 38. It's the uh, uh, first appearance of uh, Robin uh, in comics. Really, really, really cool book. So um, obviously um, not an everyday um, book that people have. Uh, another really cool book uh, that I really, really like. I have it raw. Uh, it's about a 6.0. Uh, it's a really cool horror book. And this 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 book's been going up in value, but the supply is still really, really low. There's not many of these, especially in, you know, high grade. This thing's a real stopper. When people see it, they're like, what the heck? That's so cool. Um, also over here, uh, The Rock is going to be Black Adam. So I have Marvel Family number one and 7.0. Uh, we at the comic book boys definitely think that that book's going to continue up in value. A very small supply with, you know, The Rock, uh, Dwayne Johnson playing the character. We'll see where that book goes. I think it's got nowhere but, uh, but up to go. So I'm looking for books that are golden age, small supply, supply I can gauge that by the CGC census. And uh, yeah, so so that, that's where I am right now. So be really careful going to your favorite auction house and paying top dollar, or, you know, whatever that is for you, whether you're buying a three or $400 key at all time highs or 10,000 or $20,000 or $100,000 silver age key, where, wherever you are, be cautious right now. I would advise sitting back, watching the market, taking a look, getting GP analysis, looking at recent sales, looking at eBay sold data, look at the auction house sold data, sold data, you know, go on to some of the auction houses, create yourself a free account, look at past sold data and really make sure that if you're going to buy a book right now, you get it at a good price. Don't be making the new high sale. Don't be, don't be crushing the records and, 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 and buying at all time highs right now. So that's my advice. That's where I see the market. I, I, I see us uh, having a little pullback here in the next year. And um, I'm not saying books are going to lose 60, 70, 80% of value and the market's going to crash, but I definitely think we're going to see a little pullback and things slow down here. So be careful. And I um, uh, appreciate your time and uh, I hope you guys are collecting awesome things and I uh, hope you guys are having fun. All right. Comic Book Boys out.